guys, it's Coco and it's Thursday, so you know what that means. It is time for a love life video again. Now I know my hair is still green. I did a challenge yesterday with Leroy. We did a paint challenge and the green paint has um, stained my hair really badly and I can't get it out. So yeah, we'll have to work with it. But if you're wondering, why is your hair green? It's unintentional, it just happened. So today I wanted to do a video on how to ask for someone's number. Not necessarily a girl, a guy, whatever like that, just like in general, how to ask for someone's number. Now I'm not really gonna go into technique wise because that's really not the problem that people really run into. The problem that I get a lot of questions about is like, how do you get the courage to actually go out and do it? So there's a few things that I wanna talk to you guys about just to give you a little more courage and just to kind of help you along and just some tips that I generally use when it comes to flirting. Um, or just just kind of with going to ask something that you're afraid of rejection about. Number one, it is time for some reality, reality check. What is the worst thing that could possibly happen? The worst thing that could possibly happen is rejection. And I mean, you've probably heard this so many times, but really, if you're gonna be afraid of rejection in your life, let me tell you, you're gonna stay exactly where you are right now. You're never gonna get farther. You're never gonna achieve things. Like, you're just never gonna get anywhere if you're afraid of rejection. Because in order to get places and in order to get the stuff that you want and that you need in your life, you're gonna have to ask for it. And you're gonna have to be told no sometimes. And that's just part of the deal. The only way to avoid rejection is to never ask for something. And that's how you're never gonna get anywhere. So honestly, give yourself that kind of reality check. Just know, like, I can ask and get rejected, but then at least I've asked and then I can move on to the next subject and you know, and maybe there's also a chance that they say yes and then you've achieved something and then you, you've you grown and you've, you know, you've gotten what you want. Or you could be afraid of rejection and not ask. So how much percent chance is there that you're gonna get a yes? Zero percent. Your chances of getting someone's number are smaller if you don't ask them when you do ask, right? Like that's common sense, right? But still, why don't people ask? So just reality check for yourself. What's the worst that could happen? Rejection is so not a big fucking deal. Like if someone rejects you, that's fine. I mean, you have probably been at points in your life too where you've had to reject someone because you're not interested. And most of the time you would have probably felt really bad about it because you're like, it's nothing personal. It just has to do with my personal preferences and and not with you as a person at all and so you feel bad about rejecting someone well when you're getting rejected about something people are feeling the same way about that they're not happy to reject you either and they would have loved to be was not do that and to be interested but they're just trying to be honest with you and that's also really nice that people actually have the guts to be honest with you and reject you if they they're not interested and that is fine as well so when it comes to asking someone's number my number one pro tip is not think about it and it kind of goes for like everything with dating don't think about it just ask don't take the time to think about it type it and send it don't hesitate on your messages don't like type it out and then like wait and be like oh no and you erase it again and you're like should i send it should i not send it like think about it all day like uh should i send it what am i what what, what should i do what should i do well, what should i do don't do that. Just type it, send it. Done. Like before you even have time to think about it, have already pressed the send button. Now you might be like, wow, that's so reckless and that's so, but it gets you places. Believe me, just do it. And if you get a negative response, because that can happen, you can, people can be like, a little bit iffy about something that you just send and stuff. And that's fine too, because then you can stop wasting your own time on them. If you're wondering like should I go up to her in real life or should I do it now, or should I do it tomorrow, when will she be in a good mood, when will I see her, when will I be drunk, like stuff like that. No, don't, don't, don't even, don't just, just go. Ask, done. Done. And then if she says no, done. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Just do it. Just do it. I believe in you guys, okay? And I know it's hard, but let me tell you one thing that I've learned in my 18 years of life. It gets easier and easier every single time. So something that I struggled with a lot was meeting new people and you know, meeting up with people and going to do something with people that I, I didn't know and that I'd never met. That was really like out of my comfort zone. 
but after you've done it a few times it just gets so freaking easy and you stop expecting anything from it and you just do it and then you s you'll see what happens you know and if it's not fun then it's not fun and then you go home and then you don't do it again and it's just like so just take it from me it come when it comes to everything and anything in life it gets easier every time so same goes for asking numbers from people you can also come up with an excuse to ask for someone's number like uh, it's just kind of easier to talk about this through like text or whatever like blah, blah, blah. but I wouldn't recommend that because you're saying you want her number because it's easier to talk to her that way you're not saying you want her number because you're interested in her so there is a fair chance that she'll give you her number but she's not interested in you still so you guys are not on the same level so just don't just ask for her number then it will be clear that you just want to talk to her that you're interested in her or him, I'm sorry that I say her, but I need to say something. Um, because otherwise you're gonna get confusion about why y'all are even talking. You know what I'm saying right here. You know what I'm saying, we don't say, no one say, no one say. Okay, me and my green hair are gonna take a leave. It's just, I never really saw that it was this bad until I just turned on my camera and I just saw myself in the viewfinder and I was like, shit, that's green. <laughs> My god, I have actual green hair. I do these love life videos every single Thursday on this channel, so I hope that you'll subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.